All right. So, His Excellency the President, fellow Ghanaians, has stated his state of the nation. Of course. I mean, of course. I'm believing this is coming together from reports and briefs and his own tours around the country, right? And the president paints such a happy, prosperous, beautiful, and optimistic state of the nation. Like, we are winning on all sides. Style, be be shout hallelujah. Unanimous victories in Goa. Receive it. <laughs> if you haven't received yours yet, I mean, check your friends, check your alliances, check your associations. And in fact, even within your alliances, you must be properly aligned. You understand? <laughs> What's beautiful is that the president adds that his government is such a great protector of the public purse. <laughs> public purse. No, but some people, obviously they are haters, right? They say, mm, for their we are public, my... No, but one good professor said that, Sebi, 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 pray dear sir. If corruption were the only dress Ghana was wearing, Anka under his excellency, Akwa Fuado, Anka Sebi Sebi, Yenye na ye twa titi. Eh, boys, you can saw this is back page on City TV. We're on DS TV channel three sixty, Go TV one eight two, and yeah, we're streaming, and you find a stream on. City TV's Facebook page, please share it. My name is Caleb Kuda. You'll find me on Facebook and Twitter, Caleb Kuda. Welcome to the show. It's going to be tantalizing. I can assure you as we take a look. Sorry, a look <laughs> at the warriors of the public person. <laughs> Welcome again, my dear friends. A uh, question for you. What is the state of your nation? What makes up the state of your nation? I mean, is it your visit to Abu Kai or spare parts, you know, for spare parts after using bad roads? Or is your visit to the fuel pump station for fuel where you are greeted with surprises? Or is it your visit to Agbogloshi? Hey! The price of one egg is now one CD fifty pesos. So I was shocked. And the last time Nathan Kwao said on radio that eh, eh, Kenke one Ghana cry is not very common to find these days. I was like, hey, blah. Until I had a rude awakening. See, if you get Kenke one CD to buy, it won't be bigger than the egg of a duck. Double, double, kusia. But let me slow down small. I mean, we've been celebrating women and also Ghana, right? So let's say Ghana women. So with your permission, I want to celebrate Ghana women, particularly one woman. So first, Ghana. One of the things we take for granted, in fact, many travel abroad and they miss it brutally. It is the poor man's companion. And for poor students, a rich source of concrete until they get money. Many rich people now, they eat it to remind themselves that, oh, they've come a long way. But it really shouldn't be so. Ladies and gentlemen, I am talking about the almighty Gobe. Gobe, gari and beans <laughs> with red oil and red red. Uh, you know, you make the gari plenty. <laughs> you stir it, stir it. Uh, you give it five minutes, then it will two. Just a bit too. I don't know the English name for that. You chop it, you drink water, uh, till I'm uh, You are fine. It's the best creation ever. We love it. Now to one woman who has saved more lives than the United Nations World Food Program. Shouts to Agbagba. Through Gobe. Eh? Davi at the University of Ghana Night Market. On this special occasion, we want to take a moment and celebrate you. You have won more souls for Christ than you could ever think. More souls for Christ than you could ever think. And uh, Davi, on behalf of the millions whose lives you touched... And my own, we hail you. I get the fire fighting. Me, I get the fire fighting. My baby, fire fighting. I tell you this one, be the fire fighting. Every woman is a superwoman. Every woman is a champion. We know be nobody. If them know they our body.
Oh, David, you are a super woman. I love your uh, goblin. <laughs> it's so cool. You're a big woman. David, no, she has helped make the lives of, I mean, uh, uh, the, the, the student economy manageable over the years on campus, right? And we love her for that. Now, people, if the demeanor of His Excellency the President is anything to go by, then people say that. The state of the nation was not a very exciting one during the story in. See if you agree. See if you agree. So then, not the state of the nation was not happy, Kakra. I understand. But this week, oh my God, the state of the nation is unanimously gay. Hey, <laughs> gay means lively, as in merry in Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> the Supreme Court, Mr. Speaker, for example, last week determined the challenge to the validity of the 2020 presidential election this validity in a unanimous decision not five four not five four unanimous honestly i love to see the president when he's very happy i mean it boots my immune system he's basically telling john muhammad that look <laughs> he you know at least he got C6 when he took you to the petition. But damn, yeah, F9 straight, <laughs> straight F9. Now, the president said that, look, in the last four years, all the things, including what Kwame Nkrumah couldn't dream about, you know, we have dreamt it and even delivered it. Mr. Speaker, after four years in office, I'm happy to state that there's been more progress in formalizing the Ghanaian economy than there was in the previous 63 years since independence. Mr. Speaker, for the first time, we have enrolled 15.5 million people onto the national ID card system, the Ghana card. Look, I love it. I love it any time the president and his vice tout any achievement and add the word unprecedented. I was waiting for it. It gives me the sense that any time the government plans, they try hard to do their best to give Ghana what she has never had before. And achieving anything close to it makes them really proud. I love that spirit of measuring ourselves by our past. But it doesn't even end there. They also help us, you see. I mean, they help us see where such achievements place us in our current world. So you hear Dr. Baumia say something like, this is the first in the world. We are the fastest, something, something, something. I really love that. I love that sense of pride. And I'm being very honest here. I close my eyes, right? Except that sometimes... In the rush to do unprecedented things, <laughs> like renaming public institutions after party stores, and things, we forget to resource the institutions well. <laughs> that is my only problem. Oh. <laughs> we thought that government establishing these three new universities would have concentrated on improving the infrastructure of these universities so that they can function well. Unfortunately, they are busy trying to reduce people's salaries, allowances. So it is an unfortunate situation, and we think that government should not concentrate on reducing workers' allowances and salaries, but should rather help establish the universities by giving them good infrastructure so that we can function appropriately. No, that's it. <laughs> that's it was UDS. Fine name, nice name, but now they have brought some SD card and oh, something else coming, sir. You, it's okay. But seriously, Dr. Bamiya, please tell Dr. Prasas to help collect 
the situation. I understand. It doesn't look good. Let's continue with the state of the nation something. I was, I mean, live tweeting the address, right? And so far, people say this is the best thing the president said. This one, the best. Mr. Speaker, my government found the resources to cushion the impact of the pandemic because we are good managers of the economy. And we are good protectors of the public purse. <laughs> so a couple of things. Some people claim the president himself doesn't believe what he said, but me. Caleb, you're out as you see me, so I disagree. <laughs> Others say that whoever wrote that particular part of the speech, you know, <laughs> he must have had a good laugh. <laughs> or he really meant to tell us something coded in our faces, like, Usukwanami, more, more, no, but from the overwhelming reactions that greeted that particular side of the, you know, one picture stood out for me in my mind. You see that funny thing where this guy will be holding a phone and say, hey, you all can't see something. Then they watch the video and laugh. Run away in different directions in a hysterical manner. No? That is what I was seeing when I had this part of the t I wanted to show you, but I thought I'm sitting here, I am afraid, I am afraid. But um, people say that, you know, investigative journalists, Ghanaian investigative journalists, Omun Kanukre, they say that apparently uh, his excellency Kufado is more tolerant than his ex Mahamasi. So let's see something. Hey, y'all, come look at this. We are good managers of the economy. And we are good protectors of the public purse. <laughs> <sighs> no, you people move pay yourself for money. Me, I don't like that. Imagine more. But the thing is that uh, the, let's just say these are misguided young people, and they are poking fun at the, you know. You know but uh, and they are pretending they like this country so much and those kinds of things. But what about the president's contemporaries who actually simply say it as it is and cannot be said to have some ulterior motives or something, something? What about them? What do they think about the state of the nation? As for the president's credibility in terms of anti-corruption, I'm afraid to say it's in tatters. It's been in tatters for a while, but this puts a nail in the coffin. At this point, I feel like Oprah Winfrey right now. What? 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 Hold up. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. Wow. Hmm. Oh. I'm afraid to say it's in tatters. <laughs> no, but Prof, you, you really need to explain yourself because Mr. Dumelovo, cry, praise the president. Yeah. I also like to thank His Excellency, the President, Nana Adodangwa Akufuado, for working with me. In fact, in 2016, when I was appointed and I was confused as to whether I should accept or reject, a call came through from Dr. Matthew Okoku Prempe. And after greeting me, he said, hold on for the president-elect. So Nana Adudangwa Akufuado encouraged me and said, go and take the job. That's why I am very grateful to him. Hey. Ah. So what, what, like, what changed? I must say to the anti-corruption CSOs or institutions fighting corruption, I am very grateful. If you fight corruption alone, you will not last. Corruption is one dangerous enemy you can't fight alone. And you can't fight quietly. If you qu fight corruption quietly, you will be finished in a minute. Ah, uh, okay. But Professor Jima, Jima Bodhi said that uh, your twin brother Martin Amidu was oh, pretty too much. <laughs> well, it's, it's disappointing, but it's disappointing uh, for reasons that I believe. Um, Mr. Amidu also has to take some responsibility for. 
In, wh in what sense? In the sense that, to my knowledge, he was given uh, adequate resources to work with. And if he wasn't given adequate resources to work with, uh, there were others in the wings to help and to support. Um, and also, he didn't really stay that long in the job and try to fight it out. You know, mm -hmm. I'm not persuaded that um, the grounds upon which he resigned were such strong grounds. <laughs> Oh, I mean, do you play? Anyway, it's amazing. And uh, one thing I found instructive, though, is that uh, the president spoke for one hour, 34 minutes. But guess what? The things he didn't say anything about have become the dominant conversation. Okay? I mean, the doom saw and the corruption. He didn't touch them, all. He didn't touch them at all. But one of the epic moments, though, was the minority leadership response to fellow Ghanaians right in his face. What? <laughs> Wait for it. After this, be like, it is coming. City TV is live on DSTV. Go to channel 363. On Go TV, access City TV on channel 182. On a digital TV, please press the menu button on the remote control and run a new search on your TV. Take note that without an antenna, you cannot access City TV on your television. City TV can be accessed on a free to air digital box like the Go TV and Star Times box. City TV, it's your world. Okay, welcome from the break. <laughs> I don't know if We will debate the state of the nation and we will debate the present record. But today, interestingly, the silent on our national debt. Four years ago, he said, I inherited this debt. What is the state of our national debt? <laughs> I am sure if you fellow Ghanaians was wild. <laughs> but the thing, eh, after the whole show, I can imagine how uh, Kuzi going to the president and say, Your Excellency, we must out. What was that? So this one. Oh, passenger, passenger. <laughs> Look, I'm not making this up. You know I am how Akumsu's godson, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. Almost your mom, baby. Hey, what's that? Almost your mom, baby, big and crazy. What is this? What is this? But some intelligence gathered indicated that uh, there's something small. It must never ever be seen. This never ever. <laughs> but Harun had little insist that um, that a Japa deal, no? What? For the way. So a Japa bar corruption bar, that's what it simply so means. We will, we, will, we will not support it. I'm very certain in my that's mind. And I, I remain unconvinced until I find Martin Amidu peruse that again and make me appreciate that this is a better one. 
I'm not going to run the address. I'm just saying, it doesn't believe we want it. It doesn't believe what you are saying. In fact, some Ghanaians say it takes something small. <laughs> so be careful what you say. This time we don't like work out, work out. We are. Anyway, the minority, you know, Professor Jimabwedi says that the way you scrutinize the appointees, you know, you try what? Wow. You try. We've seen parliamentary vetting processes that were far more shambolic than this one. And this one, you and I would agree, has been, has had a lot more substance than some of the previous ones. Mm -hmm. It's helped us to know and to understand some things about these individuals and maybe about the, the person who nominated them in the first place. Let's take that home and work with it. Nice. I, the way I love Prof. No, I, you know, I mean, I love what he's saying. You know. <laughs> I'm only praying that uh, more people, you know, would talk like he's talking. You know, some of them on the retirement, they are all talking again. Things have changed. <laughs> but minority for one, after the president's address, no, there was a national anthem. Everybody finished. They go on. They best of the surface here for each other way. <laughs> See <laughs>
It's a game bag, never fine. No, near gram, no more. Oh, your mind is just one of you, and I'm not fine. It's a tragic story, very sad. My heart goes out to the families. I'm happy my godmother, Hawa Kumsen, uh, she sorted the families out. She couldn't bring the boys back to life, but at least something small. On my penny, Sam, me shamodi. Now, me can't shamo say. Yamine, any more senti. Yaja, why ain't ya say? On my penny, Sam, Kayanqua. You bet to me at toi. Can then call a baby or mushy biarano. I don't know how I could say we like you, you fools. Uh -huh. But let me tell you something. The Kaswa Nyanya no highway, you know. Pragia people, Trotro people, Kanda people, they have taken the whole place, a place that is close to the market. So you see, the media no, is divided road. It doesn't have reflectors. Street lights to Yamutu. So the last time I was using the road, you know, I was trying to avoid the, the, these people, you know. Then I hit the concrete. The one is the media. Pow! My tie. It pie like your gunshot. Pow! My lower arm, my shock comes up and you're moved to a come if you, sister. A come if you. But I'm told it happens very often to even experienced drivers who are in that area. So, sister, how are we doing, Mr. Opa? So it's this wall, the indiscipline, the reflectors, and the street lights. And those are no fish farming questions, it's just these three things, I understand. And I'll be very happy. Now, I'm happy the president spoke about his promise on the year of roads. There is a place called Ajay Kojo. Ajay Kojo, hey, sister, stop. In fact, over there, they call some place Promised Land, eh? <laughs> ah, my God. That road has 18 more promises than bitumen. <laughs> it's only yesterday that I went to repair my engine because of this road. I spent about 1500 Even if that's not a full engine, it's a plug. And, and now I'm having two spare tires in case there's another one inside. The best thing I have to do is to stop my job. Bishi Barnega Lu Show Haula. It's good. Mm. <laughs> you know, when we got to Ajay Kondo to do the report, we got there now, that's one guy, he said that uh, they are under Tema West. Honorable Carlos and he cries Quincy Quincy. He said, they have spoken about the road, son, but their MP is not hearing. And his worry is that now he's frustrated because she said, I said, Oh, no, boy, this is rock and crazy. And then no me to me. But hopefully, the Chinese will help communicate the international importance of that road. You know, the irony about this week is that. Some of us celebrated our 64th independence anniversary in darkness. Hey! <laughs> People were angry. <laughs> Now go see the end of light. Up to now light in the bay. Men pray for them more. They want more fear. They want me beyond. She harm. Oh, and pray for them more. Minister, so she harm. They are so anti power. They step to my instincts. So I don't know. They say I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, that's. And they did two hours. Top of the light. Yes, yes, yes. No man. To so bossificate. They do so see that. So hey, they have to trap us. They have to come and clear it. They're very bad. I'm not sure. No one's going to come for. No one's going to come for. <laughs> Somebody said that this is the effect of 1759. <laughs> the good thing is that, the good thing is that people say that the energy sector right now is in the hands of somebody who has presidential ambition. So every doom sobia comes with a dirty knock on the presidential ambition. Onapo, one doom so. Oh.